So here I am talking about Last Ship, which I love. I've been watching faithfully. So how do you enjoy working on the show? Uh, I love working on the show. I mean, it's an incredible challenge. I mean, that's what everyone who's worked on the show says. It's the hardest show they've ever done and the most satisfying show they've ever done. I have to say I really like the fact that there's movement with the ship. I was worried that it would get a little stale, but since you guys are going and meeting new people every week, it's really just adding to the drama. How did you guys decide what locations you'll be going to next? Well, it's all dependent on what they need to, to solve the virus. So they need supplies, they got to go to Guantanamo Bay. Then they need monkeys to test the vaccine on. Where are they going to find monkeys? South America. So let's do a story about that. I have to say I love, la I love this week's episode with the drug lord taking over the village. Did you guys sort of get an idea from watching the news and the newspaper about all these little mini dictators? Well, we thought about two things. One, what, what would happen in a world where, where all civil order is broken down and it would be chaos, and we wanted to explore that. And we also you know, loved Apocalypse Now, Heart of Darkness, and we always wanted to do an episode where they have to go downriver to do something away from the ship, the ship is too far to help them, and what's going to happen? I love that there's a new moral quandary to it, since they're not, they realize they have to help other people. So what's going on coming up on the next episodes? Well, the next episodes are, everything's just going to get more and more escalated. Um, the, the Russians are coming back to get them, what's going to happen with that? Um, what happens if they have a vaccine, they're going to test it on people, that's going to be incredibly challenging. Um, you know, new enemies, new reveals about who started the virus to begin with, um, which has been teased a little bit and is coming out. So, and then, you know, all leading toward a big crescendo in the season finale that's going to really wow people and send the series into a whole different direction. So, like I said before, I'm a huge fan. I've been watching it faithfully. I fell in love with it. Thank when you. I saw you guys at WonderCon. I am so happy they renewed you for the second season. <laughs> Us too, I assure you. So is my accountant. <laughs> because I thought, oh my god, they better not have some major cliffhanger and then be like, uh, wah. Well. So you guys are on TNT, you guys are bringing the drama. So working with the whole Michael Bay explosion thing, will there be an explosion where people are walking away? To be, to be continued, <laughs> to be continued, I can't give it away. Ooh. There will be a lot of action, suspense, and tension, I'll tell you that. Okay, I'm totally excited. When is the season finale? And for people who haven't been watching it, can't they catch up on TNT? Well, people who have been watching can download it off iTunes or they can go directly to TNT.com, either way. Because if they haven't been watching it, they've been missing a great TV show. Uh, but it's one of the great binge watch uh, things going on right now, I think. I do love binge watching. So, there you go. <laughs> so, I really enjoyed the fact that they didn't leave the villagers alone, that there's a moral quandary that they have to sort of care what's happening with people. How did you guys decide to do that? Well, what's interesting to us is that it echoes the larger thing that goes on with the United States. That's, you know, when do we intervene in a situation? There's lots of terrible things going on in the world. When do we put ourselves at risk and potentially sacrifice our larger goals as a country? And so, um, and how much, many resources do we risk? And, and, and that, the, 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 in a very small, intimate way, the decisions that they made in last week's episode, you know, mirror that, that moral quandary. That's, a, that's a, a universal moral quandary of when do you step yourself into danger to resolve another situation and what if it risks something bigger? So as the show is going on I've noticed that characters who I thought were kind of good are kind of bad and kind of bad and kind of good. Are you guys still sort of tweaking them a little bit since you know you're having a second season? We are, the characters are, are evolving and becoming more and more complex. And, I mean, that's what you need to do on a, on a good series to keep things fresh for the audience and fresh for yourself. And it's, it's what's fun about doing a show. And a movie, you know, you've got two hours, that's it, goodbye and good luck. And a show, hopefully you've got 100 episodes to keep growing these people and, and having the characters, uh, the audience keep learning new things about the characters every week. I'm learning something new about them every week. And I love that they're not... 100 black and white, exactly. good and bad. I'm hoping you'll be able to use some of the other ship, uh, I guess you call them not captains, the but enlisted private. Enlisted people. Yes, the, the next bunch of episodes have a, a much bigger emphasis on the on the younger people, the enlisted people, and, and their involvement in the ship. Oh my gosh, that's going to be so exciting. I'm really looking forward to getting to know everybody on the ship. I assume there's probably like 100 people on the ship? 216. Oh, so 216 stories. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> Oh, 11 years, 12 years. 
God willing. I'm God willing, and from God's ears to the viewers of TNT. Knockwood, all those good things. Boom. Boom. They're bringing drama to TNT. There you go. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks a lot. Good to see you again. Good to see you as well.